Standing next to you Standing next to you this marks the beginning of K-pop reactions in this channel. To say that I don't know anything about K-pop is an understatement. To be honest with you, I'm I'm, I'm kind of a K-pop hater. <laughs> I don't I don't listen to K-pop. I uh, I thought it was really I thought it was really feminine. That's just what I listen I listen to rap when I'm listening uh, when I'm working out. I listen to hardcore like techno music. I listen to hardcore like Mongolian throat songs, uh, war music. Those are the songs I listen to. I'm simply not the audience for K-pop. So yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't want to lie and say like, oh, I love K-pop. I, I listen to it all the time. I just I don't know anything about it. I'm just I'm so oblivious to it. I know just just looking at this, I. 29 million views on the song that was released seven days ago and it's trending on music 2.9 million likes on this song jungkook standing next to you like 2.9 million likes not views the views are 29 million just just a conversion rate of the views to likes right some songs can have 29 million views but the conversion rate to likes this is something i've never seen before like the amount of views and the likes, amount of fans this has, it's ridiculous to me. It's so much. Maybe I'm just so oblivious to it. Maybe I'm, I need to turn my brain off and stop being a freaking hater and give it a chance. That's what I'm thinking. I can't promise you, you know, I can't promise that I'm going to like this. I just, I'm just so new to this. I've listened to when I was like 11, 12, because I grew up. In Mongolia, uh, I've listened to like really, really old girls' generation one or two K-pop songs. I might recognize like Big Bang one or two songs, but other than that, I'm just I'm so oblivious to K-pop. I'm so far away from this niche. So I, I'm I am getting into this as someone who just don't know anything about K-pop. I am open-minded. Okay. I do like the fact that his name is Jungkook. I'm a fan of Running Man, so if you know Kim Jungkook, the muscle man, the handsome man, the sexiest man alive, I like the I like the fact that his name is Jungkook. That's him. Whoa! Wait, that's a cool sleeve that he had. That's the main name. That's Jungkook. The guy with the black hair with the sleeve? I like the sleeve. Wow, I didn't expect the cinematography to be this good. Six points white. Off is the dancing. This is really good. Hey! Also, all the background dancers, they're all international too. Wow, that sleeve is so cool. Is that his real tattoo? <laughs> that move, that was like a Michael Jackson left move. I gotta say, the dancing is really good. I can't imagine how many hours of practice this took. <laughs> Got some vocals too. It's so catchy. Can't divide us, we'll survive the test of time, I swear that 
Also, not to mention the set. This music video took a lot of budget. This is so catchy. It does have some Michael Jackson vibes. Like, wow, this dancing is so good. Also, the set design and the budget it took for this music video. She's beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this wasn't what I expected. A lot of American music videos, they tend to be like running gun shoots. Right? They don't put this much effort into... Their music videos, their dancings, the choreography, the set design, the color effects, like the directing. This was so good. Before I started doing this YouTube thing, I I went to film school and I I shot a lot of different commercials for you know tattoo parlors, and just anything. Like I did commercials, I did the marriage videos, wedding videos. Just a bunch of different commercials for clothing brands and stuff like that. This this took a lot of effort, man. I'm just thinking about the logistics of bringing all these people, how many camera shots, the color grading is really good. The dancing really stood out for me. And just look at this. You can tell all this set, It was this was designed specifically for this. Just look at this location. This was built, all this limousine, it was built Thinking about how much effort and money it's gonna to do this to to create this set design and this lighting, like you can you can tell all this lighting, the cameras, how many angles it took, how many sh shots this took. This is bigger than I expected. Yeah, I mean, you know how many views this is getting, how many how much money there is to this. I guess this is not a surprise, but this is a surprise to me because I just, I'm so oblivious to all this, man. I didn't even know their set design was this good. I didn't know their music videos were shot this well. I want to listen to it one more time. This time with the... Subtitles on. Do you want to choose the next song I'm going to react to? Or if you want me to react to your favorite song, go to Patreon and comment on the latest post on what songs I should react to. And looking at all the comments, based on the comments, I run a poll on Patreon every single day, which you can vote. And the winner of the poll, I react to. It's really simple. If you can't subscribe to Patreon, I understand. You know, comment on YouTube. I also take that into consideration. Do Korean songs care about? I know some music is just it's it's catchy. The lyrics doesn't have to make sense, and I'm okay with that. I listen to a lot of those songs where the lyrics doesn't matter. As long as it's catchy, I would listen to it. And I think Korean most of the music is like that, right? The lyrics doesn't matter that much. It's just it's supposed to be catchy. She's beautiful. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, I didn't even listen to the lyrics when I was listening this first time. Who is this dude? You see this that's struggling in the middle. There's this Asian guy with a chest tattoo. His dancing moves just stand his dancing just stands out. Every time there's a bunch of different background dancers are dancing, my eyes just go straight to him. Look, he's so good. Rock the this. Rock the this. Okay, I'm not a hater. <laughs> I'm not a hater. What the? I thought it was completely based on stereotypes. I thought K-pop songs were so feminine songs that I wouldn't listen to. This is not feminine. This is like pop. This is like really good. This is catchy. I would listen to this when I'm jamming in the car, just driving to the gym, trying to get in a good mood. I would listen to this. Like this has Justin Timberlake vibes. The dancing, the voices, so catchy. I can see myself listening to this, just like dancing around the house, cooking. You know, if you're hanging out with your girl, just you no know, cooking, having fun. It's just your dancing, vibing. I would listen to this in the gym before, like, get into heavy lifts just to have get my mood up. Again, the choreography. How many people also is in here? Standing next to you. Standing next to you. Yeah, heavy Justin Timberlake vibes. This reminds me of that song. Uh, Justin Timberlake. You know the black and white suit? Yeah. It's suit and tie. It reminds me of that. You ready, JT? Yeah, like this part. Looking. Oh, Doesn't it have the same vibe? I think the the voice is similar. Justin Timberlake and John Cook, that guy, it was really was really similar. Tasha, we on my suit and Tasha, Tasha, feel things, things. If John Cook, that if he sings. A song with a similar vibe and that similar cadence of like Abby on my suit and tie shit. <laughs> it would it would sound really good. I can just listen. I can just imagine that Jungkook guy singing to this type of song. Like if he does a cover for this, it would just it would sound so good. I 
I'll be in my suit and tie suit. I'll be in my suit and tie suit. Again, this tells. Look at this. This song has 181 million views, but the likes are only 1.2 million. And now let's go back to standing next to you, Jung Cook song. 29 million, but the likes is 2.9 million. This just shows you how much of a strong fan base Jungkook this guy has. It's also crazy that I just I've never seen him before. I've never heard about him. Just crazy of what kind of a bubble I've been living in. Do you want to choose the next song I'm going to react to, or if you want me to react to your favorite song, go to Patreon and comment on the latest post on what songs I should react to. And looking at all the comments, based on the comments, I run a poll on Patreon every single day, which you can vote, and the winner of the poll. I react to. It's really simple. If you can't subscribe to Patreon, I understand. You know, comment on YouTube. I also take that into consideration. I am not a hater, <laughs> but I, I'm still ashamed to tell my friends that I will. I would listen to this. I would listen to standing next to you by myself. But I wouldn't listen to this out loud. <laughs> There's a still negative stereotype. I think. Maybe in the circle that I hang around in, it would be kind of funny if I listen to this. Like, if I jammed this in my car, I don't know how how people would react. Maybe it will change, because this is the first, like, first song I'm reacting to on this channel. I've listened to like K-pop songs on TikTok and probably on radio, but officially, like, this is the first first song. Okay, this this was good. <laughs> Keep. Uh, if you guys wanted me to react to more K-pop songs, I'm open to it. And comment on Patreon. I'll do polls every single day on Patreon for the next K-pop song that I'm going to react to. So stay tuned. <laughs>